100% death proof. Hey, you got a real uh, oil pressure problem here, old man. Running real hot. Real hot. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. What did it slow down for? <laughs> he wants to play. You can never go fast enough. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the Dirt in a Bag podcast. Today, my guest is the one, the only, Mr. Arabian Sand Goggles himself, Mr. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Aloha Snack Bar. Aloha Man. Snack Bar. Is this recording or is it just recording our voices? It's only going to be an audio recording, I assure you. There you go. Put it in the, the flower pot. No, 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 no oh, don't do that. Oh, that's disgusting. No, <laughs> no. Oh, hell no, dude. No, don't do that. <laughs> There's, there's AIDS in there. There's AIDS in there. There's probably AIDS on this table. You know what part of town this is? Well, hey, don't don't knock the... I'm not going to say the place, but... No, 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 I like the place. We're one of our fabulous, fav, uh, fav, fabulous favorite <laughs> establishments today. Some Someday he'll remember how to speak English. I'll remember how to speak. <laughs> we're sitting here with Jason. He just stepped out of the Walters Trans Am, the Trash Zam. What'd that you think of fun. it? What'd that you was think? fun. It, was it fun. reminds me of my brother's. He blew that bitch up on the side of the highway. What was it again? It was a Trans Am? Mm-hmm. Mm. Set on fire. We're sitting there watching it burn. Will, right? Mm-hmm. Come on, Will. How you going to blow up a perfectly good... What year was it? Uh, why are you asking me this? Uh, uh, like, I would know. A 10 BC Trans Am. Yeah. It was a car. It was a car with a year. It said it was a two. And it might even have had a VIN. A two? A two out of a three. Two out of three. Two yeah. thirds of a Trans Am. Two yeah. thirds of Trans Am. Ah, we just literally got the turbo truck running again. Engine V two. So hopefully, it'll uh, you know last Not more mo- last more than twelve days. So it's a two. It's a two out of three. Two out of three. <laughs> two thirds. Wait, no. Three. I don't want another. Th- <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Too late. Dang it. You already put it out there. It's, it's already out in the universe. Why do you do this to me? You do this to yourself. I do this. I do do this to myself, and I do do on myself. So, Jason, you pooped yourself today, did he? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sharted a little bit. Just a little, little shorty it's pants. It's already on YouTube. It didn't. Yeah, it's true. It huh? didn't touch my underwear. If you were wondering, I just I, had to go to the bathroom. Even if it did, he wipe. wouldn't tell you. Would. I wouldn't tell you. I just had to go to the bathroom and wipe a little bit. It was like one of these. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the cheeks caught most of the debris. Man, yeah. That's why. I, that's why I don't even fart. I'm just like, nope. If I fart, if it happens, I'm going it's happening to a toilet. In the toilet. Yeah. Walter, Walter doesn't even poop. No. It's against his religion to poop. What are they doing oh, over there? Should we go over there? That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. The, over there at the brewery. The brewery. The brewery. The brewery. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the pain and shame in those eyes. <laughs> Who's eyes? <laughs> Oh, had to be his. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it, was, it happened, it was instant depression. But now, uh, me and Jason, we go way back. Like, how many years has it been now? Like 15. You got to pretend this little box right here is a person we never met, but he's our friend now. Hi, box. Hi, little little black box. That's racist. Well, you can't say what color it is. You can't say bro. that. Hero black box. <laughs> You still can't say that. Hero, now you're just calling him Black Hero. Hero 7 Black Box. You hear that? He's not racist. He thinks blacks are heroes. My Hero Black Box 7. His yeah. heroes are black. This is getting, this is getting taken out. <laughs> no, it's not. The podcasts don't get edited. Podcasts oh. are completely unedited. Oh, this is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. yeah. No one knows who you are. You Except said my you name said like name. five times. I didn't say your last name. You also said I was Arab. Mr. Smith. No, you said you're Arab. He said I was Arab. Maybe you just went to the Middle he East. Said, you know, Mr. He said Arabian sand goggles. That's Arab. No, that's when you put your balls over a chick's eyes. Yeah, I, and that's I, why it's the Arabian sand goggles. I technically said when nothing. when I knew it, it's a little bit sand. I technically said nothing about your Arabness until when now. When you knew it, it is Arabian. All right, so my last name is... Columbia. Columbia, it's on your shirt. His, his last name is uh, Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup, starting from the back. I mean, what... <laughs> Hit it from where? Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. What's it been, 20 years since we know each other? Hey. Dude, we really need to go over there. I'm thinking we're fucking There's up. like no... I know where he's Is headed. Is that the mic? Uh, both of them are. I know where he's, he's headed. Two little dots. Right. Yeah. There's like no... 
No what? A law snack bars here. A law a law was there's really not a there's, lot in this. There's no a law snack bars here. There's, there's really not a lot in the state of Texas. Dude. It's not bad. Dude. Let's go over there. <laughs> and plus it's cheap. We can drink a lot. Is it cheap? I got a tab yeah. going here. Huh? I got we a tab going got, here. We all got tabs going. We, 30, we all got tabs. We can close our tabs. It's th one beer. 30 minutes. I'm, we're going right now. And we need to make this when we get a little more buzzed. It'll be a lot No, they better. get worse. Do they get worse? Yes. They kind of get worse. We've, I done, think, we've done this. Yeah? Yeah. Drunk drunk podcasts are horrible. Well, no, no, no. I didn't say drunk. I said a little buzzed. There, what's the line between buzzed and drunk? Four beers and ten. Yeah, that line's right. a little thinner. <laughs> well, yours, <laughs> yours is like two drinks in. Yours is, yours is a little. You're higher probably oct almost there already. Octane. I mean, I haven't eaten since like one. You're so pulling at me now. So I'm like, oh. Oh shit! I haven't eaten since I got to Cody's. How you say my name on the podcast, dude? Fucking Matt. Oh, Matt. Call oh, hey, we gotta get you? Matt on here. Call him back. What do you mean when I say your name on the podcast? <laughs> yeah. I said you <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Man, whatever. The first podcast, the first one we did, had both of our faces in it. I was in a work shirt. What the fuck's up, dude? Oh, dude, what man were you fucking? What's up, Matt? You're live on the podcast now. Oh, I mean, podcast. <laughs> you're live on the podcast that's going to be put on YouTube in like two days. So tell everybody what man you were fucking. Well, I was hoping it, well, I put a picture of your face on him, but. That's the only way to do it right. That, that poor inflatable. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could turn a $20 inflatable into a $200 inflatable hey. that easy. Yeah, all they did was take your picture off. It's That's still yeah, warm. It's on eBay right so now. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. <laughs> that was a good one, though. <laughs> I missed it. Have, what are you doing? We have Mr. Matt Seaman himself on the line. Matt Sperm Man. Sperm Man. Hey, man, at least I produced something, you know what I'm saying? You got the reddest dick. We all know what you're saying. The reddest dick. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Jizzle eyes. If there was a human that had the closest thing to a red rocket, it would be Mr. Sperm Man. Matt, funniest story you got with Jason Go. I don't want this on. I don't. I don't want this on uh, the public air. Find one that well, you then want. Well, then we gotta hang out because I want to hear it. <laughs> Walter hasn't heard it. Yeah, where are you? It. What are you doing? I'm driving home from work right now. You should take a detour. <sighs> I got a baby. You know how it is. I know. Bring how him. how old's the baby? My own. How old's the baby? He's a year now. He turned a year on the the He's a year. Has he been to a brewery yeah. before? Brewery. Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't been able to get him away from the wife long enough to take him. Because, you know, I don't want to rush these. Matt. You got to start If you up. start too late, then he ends up being like one of them closet church girls that just loses his fucking mind. Even though he's a boy. And does everything that he's not supposed to do when he turns like 16. You mean like me? Exactly. Like exactly what exactly. happened. Were, have, were you at a brewery when you were one? You know, I wasn't, but I went to baby dolls. Point doll. proven. It's, it's exactly. hard to argue with You went to baby dolls? Yeah, I saw some titties that weren't my mama's. When you were, <laughs> they <laughs> weren't my mama's. He's just trying to show me the variety on the menu. Like, hey, you, you don't just have to have a cheeseburger every night. Like, sometimes you could have, you know, Chili a dog. dog, steak, you know. Chili dog. <laughs> a chill, no, we don't want. No. We're on the wrong camera. side of the fucking road. We'll get there. She got a man though. He looks kind of. Like they probably would, all have he, men. He looks like he would like to be. So if you're on the wrong side of the road. It's like we'll get there. So I was at a strip club one time, and <laughs> I was cooking hot dogs outside of it making money you know valet and job I was, when i was doing valet and i was cooking hot dogs on the outside this is gonna be great. and uh you know, how nice you know it hits about like one one thirty, and all the drunk people start coming outside fucking buying hot dogs oh, yeah, dude. i'm hungry do you have any hot links give me some sauerkraut on that shit okay so Get this fucking this toast. this couple i mean they were both beautiful people but like they, they, they wanted me to 
They wanted me to. See, not every husband gets jealous. Some like, husbands I like to said, watch. No, we, don't, we don't have little smokies here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't have no little smokies here. You can't get, you, I ain't got no, there ain't no bratwurst coming from this direction. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? That shit happened to a dude I worked with. But he comes over and he puts my hand on his wife's tit and then puts my other hand on her ass. Oh, I remember the story. Yeah, and he's, he's like, uh, so uh, what time are you going to be done working? I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? And he's like, well, uh, we got some drinks at the house. We were wondering if you wanted to join. And I'm, I'm just like flabbergasted. I don't even know what to think at this moment. I've never been in this situation before. And he just starts like offering me money to come home and fuck his wife. Like, he he, like, hey, he, he wants to watch me fuck his wife. He's like, like hey, you man, think she's hot, Jason, right? Jason, our lives are way too fucking similar, dude. Yeah, it's fucking weird, dude. So did you go yeah, or no? Something like that I didn't go. I bet he did. <laughs> I bet he did. I bet he did, though. Hey, what's up, man? What you I was doing in a relationship. Get, what you doing when you get off work? Want to come home, watch Netflix, hook yeah. out, fuck my wife? If I was single, <laughs> I'd probably do it. I was to my girl at the time, and this dude's like, he's like, hey, man, I really think my chick likes you. It's like, I think you should fuck my girl. And I was like, no, dude, I'm good, you know, appreciate the offer, you know. You're going to get the mysterious like, finger. No, dude, and he's like, he like pulls her, like she's wearing like a bikini top because it's a rave. And he's like, look at these areolas, dude. Here, look how yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. Calm down. <laughs> no smoking. And I'm just like, that's a weird thing to smell like her areolas. <laughs> her areolas. I was like, yeah, but I know she got taco meat. I don't know. If I was single, I'd, I, I'd do it. I'd let him watch. I didn't care. I wouldn't. Yeah, but I wasn't single either. Yeah, I, exactly. I That's what stopped me. And, and my chick was right there. And she just, like, she didn't even say anything. She was just, like, stunned. She, yeah, stunned. She, I was going to say, she was probably like, is this really happening? Stunned. Yeah. Is this a sex call? Kind of. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> hey, what's your name, bro? Chris. Chris. I'm sorry. Chris right. has Lux, joined well, the Lux. party. Chris has joined COVID, the... COVID, COVID approval. Well, Join the podcast. You're on a podcast right now. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm totally naked underneath my clothes, though. Hell yeah. Uh, do you have any uh, this, fucked up stories? This guy knows how to party. Those what do are, you mean, no? There's no, no fucking way you don't have any fucked up stories. You're those lying. Are, no. those You're are lying to me right now. I really don't. Those are genuine knockoff Adidas, ladies and gentlemen. He ain't bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I wish I had them. I wish. I didn't even got the fucking knockoff starters. I just got like a sack. I shove my legs through them, punch out the bottom. <laughs> What's that big bright ball up in the sky? I don't know. I wish it'd go away. It's super annoying. Bolero man, bolero man. Hoorah, hoorah, bolero man. Are oh, you not gonna do the whole song? I'm what sorry, if, I coughed. You gotta. All right, well, you gotta give us at least two bars of John Jismed. Yeah, don't be a tease. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Jism. 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 All right, that bit's falling apart, Matt. Switch it up. Y'all need y'all cut an album. Huh? Yeah, I uh, think so. He did. Have did, you ever been did, this will probably sell more, though. <laughs> What's up, man? Have you ever been to Lisa's Chicken and Seafood? Yeah, uh, it's I didn't good. Here today. What's up, man? Well, What's your name? The Lisa's Cliff. Chicken's fucking good. Get up, Cliff. Get, get up in here. We're doing a podcast. We got Cliff. All right. We, just, we got Cliff uh, joining the party. Joining the party. What's up, man? <laughs> Cliff, don't party. Cliff, tell us about yourself. Well, what part? Well, I want to hear the... What's, what's the craziest shit you ever seen? You might not be ready for that. Mm. I, I well, feel like I've seen some shit. Yep. Mm. He goes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us, the, tell us the number one fucked up story that's coming to your mind right now. He's right like, now. I'm out. You guys are fucking weird. And I played your go. No, no. no. We'll get back to you. You think about it. All right. We're not cops. Back, back to the jism. You're, you're not under any kind of. <laughs> Let me get a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me off guard like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
That John Jism well, stuff was rolling in my head. Jism. You know, it's, it's really catchy. Yeah, it, I'll be wake up in the morning going, Jism. And my yeah. wife going, shut up. You jerking off later? What are you Jism. talking about? Jizz. I'm doing that next yeah. time I climax. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull out and just start jizz on. Jizz on. Jizz on in the morning. You know, like one minute after I start. That's generous. Oh yeah. Boy, just don't sing it whenever you're taking a shit. People are gonna get the wrong idea. Yeah, pub, pub, public restroom. Wait, just... what do you mean? You, you just see something poked through the wall, like. Are you, no. are you really gonna fucking lie when you're married with a kid and say you don't jack off on the toilet? <laughs> on the toilet, or in, like on like, the uh, toilet. Okay. That's Doors solid, locked that's on the toilet. Point. You're married with a kid. You jack off on the oh, toilet. So that brings before up you wipe. Point. So I got I got a uh, not a uh, just direct. We got radio hey, silent. Vasectomy. Hey, vasectomy. Yeah, you know? And I was scared he he does, he to do it. it. You know, to jerk off because I yeah. hope it still works. I'm gonna rip something in there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what, Maybe I, should, I have to wait another couple weeks. I don't know, but what, I was scared. Like, what comes out of there the first week? Is it like poison gas? No, wait, it was the real what stuff. The fuck but, did I miss? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were, you go. They were yeah. blanks. They were blanks. We were just talking about. We were just talking about them. Yeah. Because I need one. Yeah. Yeah. You got three I, I kids. Started, I started planning my first one after, uh, right before I got the pregnancy test for the third kid. Yeah. Yeah, Walter, the week of, he's like, well, I think I'm going to get a bisectomy. Two days later, well, having another kid. <laughs> <laughs> Legit happened that way. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it happens. <laughs> that, that is. That's fucked up. It's like, like intuition. Hey, I gotta go get John Jism real quick. I'll be right back. Jism, <laughs> great Jism. <laughs> Jism in the morning. Gentlemen, I'm gonna have to step out of this oh, conversation good. now. That's what we do. All right, man. Matt, we love you. All right, man, take it deep. <laughs> oh, man, Matt, Matt's a good shit. You know he is. I like yeah. Matt. He's got the best stories. Yeah, he does. Like he's he's, a, he's, he's got, a storyteller. He's got dude. good he shit stories as well. He is a storyteller. Ryan's a good storyteller too. But Ryan, he'll never come out. We yeah. we try so hard. We got to get Ryan and Ryan. I know you're listening to this. Ryan, you son of a Ryan bitch. Ryan and we Matt. Want, we want. Oh, dude. We Together. Got, uh, all four of us in the same room. Oh, the Jesus. the universe would implode. It might yeah. explode. Let's try to call almost, Ryan and see if he answers. Ryan's not going to answer that. He never Just does. call him once. Dude, he hasn't One answered time. my phone in you know three you, years. Well, yeah, because you called him like 47 times last time. That You have no idea. <laughs> we used to sit at his front door because he'd be asleep in the morning, and we'd have plans. And we'd go to try to wake him up. So mad. And we'd be banging on his window, one on the window, one on the front door, one's calling him over and over, no fucking He's answers. Not answer. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I just forget you and all of you. we get another round? Yeah. Pretty please. Uh, I, need, I need another Jim Beam. Corona, Dos Equis, Coke, and Jim Beam. Yes, ma'am. That would be it. There you go, baby. Sorry. Uh, I got a pretty new thing we do. A... Yeah, new thing we do. We do it day and night, too. Please leave your message cool for 817302 John jizzled. You hit the nail on the head. Jizzled that shit, in his pants. It's in his pants. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You hit the nail on the head with that. You telling me you don't fucking jack off in the bathroom? Fuck it, full yes. of shit. Yes. Everybody you know, does. Everybody does. People jack off don't, in the bathroom more to, than they go to the bathroom. Don't go to Vermont. <laughs> in Rutland, Vermont. Don't go there. Holes what? in the stalls, or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tell us some stories, man. Yeah, man. Here, let's let's over. At my house. I don't, I don't do that nowhere else. Though. We're coming up. We're coming in hot with Cliff. Everybody, he just showed up. He showed up to the party. All right, um, Cliff. He he said. I don't even know how to get in detail on it. He said he's yeah. not telling his story. Yeah. He said your brains would explode. Cliff. <laughs> I've met a lot of fucking people. And every person that I've ever fucking met that has your personality has got stories upon stories. You just don't even know. <laughs> I do know. That's what I'm saying. Tell it. Give us a good story. Tell us something. I'm gonna sit out this round, but I promise y'all this: I will. I will. Uh, 
come back and do it again. He thinks we're undercover trying to catch him on something. I know, right? But I mean, you do look like you're undercover with that shirt and everything. Of. It says Columbia on it. Like, who the fuck wears cops? Cops. Cops, yeah. <laughs> you look like a cop. Yeah. You look like Give Colum me some aviators. You look like a Colombian cop. No. <laughs> He's too. See, most of my stories is prior to that. August 2011. And. Why is that your ID? Oh. And, <laughs> oh, fuck. And this I'm <laughs> way off. But. Uh, you got to tell. Who's the craziest person you ever married? Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. Good one. What was her uh, name? Was it was it a triangle her, or was it a maiden, circle? Her maiden name was uh, Cindy Wilson. Then it was that uh, already sounds like a crazy name. Then it was Put Putnam. Then it I don't was, fuck uh, with Cindy's. Sprayberry. That's like a rule. Yeah, she married me to get her maiden name back. Holy shit! Your last name is Williams? No, Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, she was a professional con artist. Oh Where's fuck! Professional. Like catch me if you can type no, shit. Her, her and her uh, matchstick men. Her and her best friend Ooh, would put man. wigs on, yeah. like Thelma and Louise, and go uh, take a car for a test drive, and then go through the bank where another good friend worked, and they would uh, have these guys' card numbers from the Dow Chemical. Oh yeah. And uh, they would, yeah. When, what year was this? Oh, this is back in uh, uh, back late, when, late '80s, early '90s. Back when you could get away with anything you wanted. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Back I mean, when America was. They changed. They changed your appearance, you know, like that. Back when I was a kid, back running from the police. Back with taking a shit in Denny's meant you were taking a shit in Denny's. Yeah. And not running out. Come, come out and uh, <laughs> nobody's in a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Remember Tim in that hotel room? Quit it. <laughs> Guys, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Denny's, all right? Tim, we don't got no fucking money. No, guys, listen. Listen. I'm gonna go into Denny's. I'm gonna give me some food. I'm gonna eat that shit. I'm gonna run the fuck out. <laughs> and was like, shut the fuck up, Tim. That's when they called the dishwasher, and he's bigger and faster than that one running. <laughs> like, they got fucked. You look up behind the counter, it's Jason Bourne cleaning <laughs> off a fucking spatula. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Well, guess that's not happening today. We're just here for water. <laughs> Fucking Carson jumping in the back of that truck from Hooters. Dude. Tell that story. We went to Hooters, and it was me, Cody, Carson, Angel, and Terry McKenzie. And we ordered 100 wings and a shit ton of drinks and fucking everything else. We ordered all kinds of stuff. And we're sitting in there. We were in there for like an hour, and I got one of the waitresses' numbers, and... Who, who was the other one? There was two of them. Terry? Angel was there now, yeah. Angel got the number? Yeah, I think so. We got two of the waitresses' <laughs> numbers, <laughs> and uh, we're, we were planning on fucking dining and dashing. And uh, next thing, well, we weren't planning on dining and dashing. We were planning on dining. I can't remember. It was so long ago. We were plan. We ended up planning on it, but we didn't plan for when it started. Yeah. And then like everybody just starts <laughs> disappearing. And hey, wait a minute! It's me and Carson left at the table. Yeah. You got out. It's like that episode of the Terry 70 got show. out. Angel got out. Everybody got out. Me and Carson's left on the table. Left at the table, and the waitress. Everybody's watching us. They already know what's going on. It's a dangerous and game. It's a dangerous game. <laughs> they already know what's going on, and we're sitting here like, shit. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Because everybody's fucking watching us. So we just stand up and start walking, and like the whole staff like starts walking towards us. So we we pick up like a fast walk. Oh, that's gonna be get creepy, like a horror door. movie. Was, were you driving? I think so. Yeah, I think you, Cody was driving, and he like pulls up by the front door. Terry's allegedly, at the window. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly pulls up by the front door, <laughs> and like we and he just starts like pulling off as we come out the front door so that we could jump in and take off. And me and Carson's running through the parking lot. Waitresses are running after us, screaming. The ones we got the numbers from. You fucking assholes! You, you motherfucker! <laughs> Throwing shit at us, and we're running. We dive into the back of the truck and peel out. It was funny. It was a funny. It was the funniest Dinah Dash I've ever done. Dude, like did right down have, this. Did you have the balls to call them after? To what? To call the waitresses after? Oh hell no! <laughs> oh hell no! Dude, like right down the street. No, I think we literally crumbled up the numbers and throw them back at them as after we got in the back of the truck. Right down the street from that Hooters, you know, like you know that little barbecue pit like next to Harbor Freight. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Me and Will, did I tell you this story? Like I broke uh -huh. my mirror off. Uh -huh. Oh, that was. That's <laughs> yeah. Right so, we we go through the drive-thru. We're getting some barbecue sandwiches. We're going back to the shop. This is back when me and Will were living over at the house, and. <laughs> 
We go up to the window. Oh, they're yelling over there. You wanna go home? Oh yeah? You wanna go home? <laughs> Come on, Sancho. Hmm. We're about to go home with these random people. She there was only one he... female. <laughs> let, <laughs> let that be. <laughs> let let right, that be hope, on the record. Oh yeah, I bet. I hope he was trying to pick her pick that dude up for his wife. Yeah. Be, uh, be walking that sidewalk uh, Ooh, a priest just pulled up. Closing. Oh, some shit's about to happen. Sperm. Sperm and these little white sperm drop driving around. No. Anyway, but I digest. We pulled through the drive through or whatever, and we were having a house party that night. I think it was like the uh, St. Patrick's Day. We had y'all over, and everybody came over. And uh, we go through the drive through window. And this like little, this girl wasn't there. She was cute. And Will's like, dude, you should get that chick to come over. I'm like, all right, watch this. So I was like, hey, <laughs> we're having a party today. You, know, you should come stop by or whatever. She's like, oh, you know, like I, like, I might check it out. Like, I, I had business cards. I thought I was hot shit. Yeah. So I fucking <laughs> handed her a business card. I'm like, but this is my personal number on the back of it. All right. We'll see you there. <laughs> Rip my mirror off. Like, like, like my wheels were cocked from like, cause it's like around a corner. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just drove right into the building, <laughs> ripped my mirror off right in front of her. And then like, like call me. Yeah, she, she's like, oh. like, I just, I floored. I look like Joe Dirt when he pulls out of the fucking yeah. station with it. He breaks the wing off his car. He's like, eh, eh, eh. just like, just, just leave the scene, leave the embarrassment, get it behind me. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Call me. <laughs> I see you there. Did you, did you come? No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no. A, me a mechanic just gave her a business card and fucked his car up right there in the drive-through. <laughs> oh my god, dude! All right, since this is a car-related podcast, you gotta say how you got hit by a car. <sighs> all right 2000 years ago i'm gonna make this quick though because it's it, it's all right backstory on it ryan okay the one we were talking about earlier he used He's to have be a on blazer here eventually. he'll be on here one day uh he was he, he used to have a blazer that had a sunroof and we had this thing we didn't really know each other but we all had friends that knew each other and uh his sunroof he, he would open it up when he'd see me i'd get out into the road and he'd slow down to like I don't know five miles an hour, ten miles an hour, something like that, and I'd jump on his hood and dive into his sunroof, and say what's up, and then I'd get out of the car. And uh, one day, one of our friends that we both knew, named Patrick, y'all all know him, Patty, yeah. and uh, he's sitting in the passenger seat. Oh, here comes the beers. Here comes the drink. Da beers. 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 Uh, so how should I split this? I got it. On yours? Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. What? Thank you. Hold on a second. What do you want to? What do you want to drink? I'll take Coke. Can you get him a Coke? Coke. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one day, Patrick's in the passenger seat, and he's telling Ryan to speed up, speed up. I'll move. And I'm in my head, standing in the middle of the street with a knife open in my hand, saying he's gonna slow down. He's gonna slow down. This is right outside of our school. And it was over at the chill spot that we used to call the circle. The circle. The circle. And uh, I'm sitting here like, he's going to slow down. He's going to slow down. Well, he doesn't slow down. He speeds up. Gets like 40 miles an hour. And I decide to jump instead of try to jump out of the way and get <laughs> stuck underneath the vehicle, you know? <laughs> get totally <laughs> Get dead. totally fucking dead. Well, I jump and his front bumper just demolishes my shins, fucking slammed me into his windshield. I went flat, like my back went flat into his front windshield and just demolished it, like it smashed the whole windshield. You can see like your ass cheeks. <laughs> you can see like, my in the, ass in the windshield. And right in, into the windshield. I had glass all up in my back and I rolled over the vehicle and somehow I don't, I, it's not like I was trying, I don't know how it happened, but I landed on my feet and then almost got hit by a truck behind his car and then ran out of the street and like a cat like yeah, a fucking like... cat it was crazy and uh then we all like ran to his house i mean that's that's pretty much the end of the story there's some to it but pretty much after that we were all allegedly. best friends a lot of alleged allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> A lot of bullshit happened, but then it ended up being like a week later, we were all like best friends. Well, after you hit, almost kill somebody with your car, that's what happens. I mean, what, gotta, else, what else would happen? It's, you you got to do it. You yeah. got to leave the scene. You got to. 
<laughs> you gotta make sure there's no well witnesses. we ran from there and ran all the way to ryan's house which was like i don't know two miles away yeah hilarious hilarious it was really funny Remember that and time? then i went to a school dance to go meet my baby mama covered in blood. or not a school dance uh her volleyball game yeah covered and in blood. covered in blood i was wearing <laughs> a white undershirt with a white button up and some white shoes and some dicky shorts everyone thought it was like fake yeah like everyone thought purpose, it was fake right? blood and then like yeah they were like what's wrong and then they uh, they figure out that it's real blood and uh all the the school security guard and all the teachers mm. that were up there was like what's going what happened wait, they wait, taking me outside what's going on, what's here? Going yeah. on here and like <laughs> take me outside and call an ambulance and i'm over here like i'm doing jumping jacks and sit-ups i'm push-ups i'm like motherfucker i'm fine leave me you alone you ain't checking my They're organs like, in that you're, ambulance <laughs> you're too you're too young to know you're okay i try to get out of the ambulance and then they strapped me down and took me to the hospital sat in traffic for like two and a half hours on the way there so was that the first time you were rectally probed or <laughs> um, uh, you gotta, you gotta tell me how often y'all what, how do you say i'm not gonna uh, say this anything this is the first time we've done it here and at this time we do these randomly okay no we're contest trying to, we're trying to make it a weekly thing i plead though. the fifth i plead the fifth Free but we need to go over there we're gonna go over there <laughs> as soon as this battery dies on this which we only got 10 percent left but before that happens, you gotta fucking remember that time we drove through a field in the Beretta. <laughs> yeah. Man, if you don't want anybody on this, well, I had it positioned to where the microphone was the eye out here. Oh, it is camera. Did you you really? lied to me. No, you had it this it's way. Not, didn't you? Uh, when I'm done you with lied it. to me. But, uh, you okay. You, you Whatever. Knew, you, you're mad now. I grew up uh, on Padre Island in Corpus. There we go. Oh let's, no shit. Let's get yeah, clip going. Most of my life. Yeah, that's a good starter. And then, uh, go truck. A lot of years traveled the country, and uh, yeah, I, I get a little courage. I have to get a little courage built up for this. I've never done it. Go for yeah. it, man. But uh, tell you what, you can see some pretty crazy stuff right here. <laughs> 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 no, I'm talking about on this picnic table we're sitting at. Really? Oh, oh, you've done some shit on not, this picnic I table? I haven't. I've like what part? Man, I told you that the AIDS was on the table, not in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's a callback anyway, right there. Anyway, waitresses cannot scrub it. Uh, no. 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 I'm going no. to lick it. <laughs> no. You may think about that before you do. <laughs> I don't even want this phone case on uh, my phone anymore. Man, what's it like being born on Padre Island? Yeah. And like, like living, why would growing you leave? up on pod, in Padre. Like, you know what? This place is too Spring nice. Spring breaks every year. You don't have to go nowhere. It's coming no, to you. There hurricane parties. Or we should call them hurricane baby, baby parties. Baby. Yeah. We didn't leave. Like, y'all are out there on the beach or whatever, like in a hurricane? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's raging. Well, there's a few hurricanes. You know, you didn't get to stay out there. Really. The, the hurricane yeah. would put you back inside. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, no, no, no. You're done. Little bit. You know, <laughs> little bit. You know, <laughs> get out of the water. You know, get out there surfing and stuff. But. Wow. It's freaking gnarly, I man. I bet your number's up there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in yeah, Padre, come on. I ain't answering that one. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I ain't answering your question. Picture, I got four X's. Huh? I got four XY's. Oh, so Texas. you stayed single most of the time? No. I don't know. About half and half, I guess. I'm 60 years old, so you know. You're how old? 60. Bullshit. No way. You don't look 60. Not at all. My three boys, uh... I'd say, like, solid 48. He's pulling out his ID, folks. Hey. He's legit. Damn, 1960. I got a 30-year-old son, a 25 and a 23, and they can't outwork me or outfight me. <laughs> and it pisses them off. There you go. And there's something about the old generations. I'm a... Yeah, back when men were men. Uh, my boys, are under, they're, they're scrappers. <laughs> I will say that. Them boys will get it. It doesn't matter. You fuck up an anvil with a wash rag. But, you know, being old, <laughs> being old school, though, and the pride, you know, you can't, you can't let them get you, so you got to get them quick. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I couldn't imagine, like, just growing up in Padre Island. I, like, I'd, I'd be dead. I'm going, I'm going to spring break this well, year. That's okay, but like during 40. spring break, we would go to Concan. <laughs> Actually, Texas. I'm not 30 yet, but I will <laughs> be. <laughs> you know, the Frio River, 10 times better than the 45. Guadalupe. Calm down. Yeah. You're, you're double the I'm, I'm going to be the old guy on the beach. Concan. 
And I'm going to find a Hell couple 24-year-olds yeah. no, that like no. them older. What are you talking about? Hold I'm on. at Wait, the what? prime age of you're daddy issues, on... okay? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. 45? Oh, you're, oh, you're 45 he's now? Just... We're playing a character? He's what? kidding, Bailey. I thought, um, babe. <laughs> Uh, it's just, when, it's when just pro goes, talk. When he goes to Padre, he ain't doing this for real. Yeah, no, no, no I'm never going to Padre. You're bitch. Allowed, not alone. <laughs> She's not gonna listen to this. Oh, you're right. I'm going to Padre, and I'm getting some snatch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh God. But no, me. Me and Jason, we used to do this thing on my first car, right? 93 Chevy Beretta. GT. Got to put the GT in there. Got to put it in there. Rod Nox. Radio bad. didn't work. It overheated. The heater was on all the time. Constantly over-fucking-heated. Flat, flat tires, metal-to-metal -metal brakes. Like There was a shorter list of things Talk on the car. flat tires. Shorter list of things on the car that was nice than, you Fucked know. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you, like you can count them on your hand, the things that worked probably. But anyway, and... We were like fucking just teenagers, just hey, being like, "Hey, I said, hey, what's, what's going, going on? on?" Anyway, like <laughs> we were just being retards driving around in this thing, because you know you first get your license, you do dumb shit, you don't know your limitations yet. We're on a this back country two lane road. It has a hard ass like like ninety ninety turn and goes like zigzag like <laughs> back the way it's going. And <laughs> we used to do this thing where it's like. He would steer while I'm like, like you know, on the phone or something like that, because I didn't, like I'm a responsible driver. I don't like you know not pay attention, so I just let Jason grab the wheel while I floored it. And uh, what's wrong with that? This night I was like, we we were really pushing our luck this night. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, as opposed to the rest. I'm of like, them? hey, I got a yeah. call or something like that, and <laughs> he he grabs a wheel, and then I I'm like, all right, you ready? He's like, okay, well, don't you bullshit. This wasn't a. He didn't get a call. This was just our dumbass idea Keep on. to to do this. We were like, all right, let's turn the lights off. Let's let's. Uh, no, no, I was like, I'm no, like, put your glasses he, on. He, <laughs> I put my glasses on his head. He's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. And then I, I start flooring it. We're going like 90, and then I kill the lights. Yeah, and then, it shuts the lights off out then, of nowhere. I'm like, all right, we're done. I turn the lights back on. It's like arrow this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we plow through this fucking barbed wire oh, fence. Off. And then go right back onto the other part of the road, just like zigzagging in this. Dude, that car was a tank, though. That car was a tank. Yeah, like we drove out of there like nothing happened. Through the other fence. Yeah. Alleg <laughs> Allegedly. 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 After we went through the field. Allegedly. Uh, I, I can't tell you exactly where it was, but the, the street rhymes with Bagley Bobberts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's somewhere in Texas. You know. You'll know when you know. If you're one of them natives. If you don't. If you, if you, if don't, you don't know, fucking, now, now you, you know, know sir. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm talking about flat tires. Left. Fucking Ryan. Ryan had this Ford Focus. Yeah, about and, three minutes. I mean, we could go anywhere. Anywhere. Anytime we had some some plans to like go to Dallas and go do something or go yeah, out he, for the night so and drive all night. a reliable car. No. Not at all. The car was a piece of shit. Oh. We, out, out he was the one group, with the car. Though? Yeah, out of our friend group, most he was the one with the, with the most reliable car. Yeah, and uh, we were just but stupid. we'd get a flat tire out of fucking nowhere, and then we'd be stuck there the rest of the night. And I can't tell you how many times that happened. We there was one month within that month, every week a different tire popped on the vehicle. Every week we were stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere waiting for the somebody. Same, same tire shop. They probably put like little time bombs in them or something. We'd, we'd sit there for hours calling each, each, each person we knew. Hey, what kind of car do you have? Uh, do you have a spare? Can you come over here and help us? Uh, <laughs> does your your spare look like? How many lug nuts did your spare take? <laughs> I would be there sometimes. I'd be like, what kind of car is it? No, it's not going to work. Time nah, to go back home. It ain't going to work. No. But... Anyway, yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Lug, one lug nut on it and go. <laughs> yeah, one, one lug nut. Man, back. you only need three to go 200 miles an hour according to NASCAR. According to NASCAR. Now, yeah, like all the statistics and stuff like that, now that we look back, we should be dead. Yeah, totally. 100%. And on that note, everybody, that has been another episode of the Dirt in a Bag podcast. Cliff, thank you for joining us, man. Oh, yeah. Jason, I mean, uh, uh, Steven. A lot snack bar. A lot snack bar. <laughs> Walter, uh, Chris just left. He just showed up. I don't even know that guy. Showed up, got excited about jizz, and ditched. I am your host, he did, Chester didn't he? Henderson. Yeah. He's like, I gotta go get some jism now. <laughs> You've been talking about jism. I gotta go, 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 go get me some jism now. Y'all got me an idea. <laughs> Bye.